There have been a lot of DC animated movies released in 2018. Some good, some not so good. But with the end of the year coming soon, I decided to do a video on what DC animated movies were going to be released in the year 2019. So let's start with the one that we're all looking forward to the most, The Reign of the Supermen. Said to be released early on in 2019, this film is the sequel and second part to the Death of Superman film. Now obviously in the first film, Superman died, and since then Superboy, Steel, Cyborg Superman and the Eradicator have emerged on the scene, and all of them are currently trying to fill the shoes of Superman. Whilst Lois Lane tries to work out who they all are, and the love of her life has actually come back as one of these characters. What if one of them really is Clark, reborn? And for those of you who are unfamiliar with these characters, Superboy is a clone of Superman, with his real name being Connor Kent and his Kryptonian name being con L. And though he is a clone, he normally doesn't have the full Superman powers, as he is also half-human, with Lex Luthor as his human father. Superboy is it's Superman if he'd been raised by the Kardashians. Steel is a man inspired by Superman to become a hero, and so he built himself an Iron Man style suit with Superman's logo. And his real name is Henry Irons, and he worked at Star Labs because he's a super genius. Dr. Irons is one of Star Labs' premier engineers. Cyborg Superman is Hank Henshaw, an astronaut who is mentioned in the first film, and gained the ability to control technology for a freak accident. Though unfortunately his body was changed into a kind of ghost-like creature, and he essentially possesses a Superman robot that's almost as powerful as Superman is himself. Cyborg Superman is really the power of Superman. And finally we have the Eradicator, who is basically a Kryptonian computer who makes itself a body based on Superman's body. Though of course I have to say that's what these characters are usually like in the DC comics, but of course the Reign of Superman film may change their backstory slightly. I've got to say I'm actually most excited about this film out of the ones being released, as I'm looking forward to seeing four different types of Superman all in one film, plus the inevitable fight between them all when the real Superman returns from the dead. Next we have the Justice League vs The Fatal Five movie, set to be released in the spring. Now The Fatal Five are a supervillain team in the future, so this film could see the Justice League going forwards in time and joining the future heroes team, the Legion of Superheroes, and then together they fight the Fatal Five then, or the Fatal Five could travel back in time to the modern day in order to change the past and again have to fight the Justice League who of course are going to try and stop them. Though we'll have to wait and see exactly what happens, and we'll also have to wait and see which villains they will be as well, though the original Fatal Five members were. Farrock, a small-time crook turned super genius thanks to the cybernetic implants installed after a robbery job literally blows up in his face. The Emerald Empress, who wields the immensely powerful Emerald Eye of Ekron. Validus, who is the child of two of the founding members of the Legion of Superheroes, one being Lightning Lad and the other being Saturn Girl. And Darkseid kidnaps this child and sends it backwards in time, and then he transforms it into a monstrous being who has a very simple mind that can easily be controlled by the Emerald Empress. And this creature also has a Superman level of strength and has a sort of telepathic slash electrical attack that shocks a person's mind and knocks pretty much anyone to the floor. There's also Mano, who has an antimatter touch and is considered to be one of the greatest murderers in the entire galaxy. And the Persuader, who wields an atomic axe capable of cutting through anything, even Superman's invulnerable flesh. Now, these members could all feature in the film, but again, bear in mind that the creators may make a few changes to the lineup. Next, we have Batman Hush, which is set to be released in the summer of 2019. Now, the Hush story is, of course, one of the most famous Batman comic stories, and he's also one of Batman's biggest villains, and one of the villains who hates Batman the most. And though the character has appeared in the Arkham game series and some of the Lego Batman games, this is the first time that he's in a DC animated film. Now, whether this film is set to be a New 52 movie or a DC original movie isn't quite clear, but since both Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill have talked about being in the film as both Batman and the Joker respectively, it seems likely to be a DC original movie and separate to the New 52 movies. And next we have Wonder Woman Bloodlines, which has yet to have any details released at this time, except that it will be released in 2019 and most likely will be the last of the DC animated films released. Now, it's actually taken a long time for Wonder Woman to get her own animated film. 
In fact, she hasn't had any solo animated films since 2009's Wonder Woman, which is her origin film and is actually pretty good, and I never really understood why it didn't get a sequel. Uh, apparently it had slow sales to begin with, but it has to date made over $8 million, which actually makes it one of the more successful animated DC films. So it does seem a little weird that they've waited this long, but I suppose it's taken Gal Gadot's success in the live action films for Warner Bros to feel confident in doing another one, but better late than never I suppose. Now not a lot of information has been made available about this film, as there isn't actually a Wonder Woman's comic book story entitled Bloodlines, but going by the title it's likely about Wonder Woman's family and her heritage, so hopefully we'll get a good look at the Greek gods and at Paradise Island. And finally we have the Lego Movie 2, and though this isn't a typical DC animated movie, it does feature Batman and other DC characters, so I thought I'd mention it. And this film is set for an initial release on the 8th of February 2019. And I'm not really going to go into many details about this, because who doesn't know about the Lego movies at this point. And that is all of the DC movies announced for 2019, though there will of course be one or two Lego DC animated movies as well but sadly these have yet to be announced at the making of this video. I do have to say that other than the Superman Reign of the Superman film, the only other one of these that fills me with a great sense of anticipation is the Batman Hush film, because the Batman Hush is a classic Batman comic, and it could actually be quite a good film. Though with that being said, there have been some rather good films made from these classic Batman stories, but there have also been rather disappointing films made from classic Batman stories. So I'm remaining cautiously optimistic. But the best news about 2019 so far is that Warner Bros are releasing four films straight to DVD of DC Animation, instead of the usual three that they release each year. Now this could actually be a sign that they're going to start releasing more animated films each year, instead of the usual three that we get each year. And although there have actually been more than three films released in previous years, most of these are by other companies than Warner Bros, and it's only Warner Bros that have kept up the DC original films and the new 52 films. So if they're actually increasing the amount of these they make each year, that could mean that more DC animated films are going to be made from here on, and hopefully these other films will explore other characters. Because if you look back historically for all the DC animated films we've had, they're all about Batman, Superman or the Justice League. There are very few about anybody else. But what do you think of these films? Are you excited for any of them? And what other DC stories do you think should be turned into animated films? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.